I am at the stage in my life where absolutely nothing is making sense. I have just graduated from college. I have a brand new job. Half of my friends have gotten married and the other half are still living with their parents. And I am just trying to find my way in this big bad world. But sometimes it is very difficult to be hopeful about the future. Because it feels like absolutely nothing is going your way. So it's been a while since I have solved one of these. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Okay, so good to know that I still got it. Um, some of the things they were a little difficult to remember, but it all eventually came back to me. Okay, so the trick is that you have to solve this layer by layer. You have to first choose your bottom layer, which in most cases many people choose white. Then you have to solve the entire bottom layer. After that, you solve the middle layer. and then you solve the top layer so there are different algorithms that you can use to move any piece from any location uh, for example over here i have solved the first layer now i have to solve the second layer so i'll need to move this orange blue piece right here orange blue so i can use the algorithm what was it yeah and that brings this piece here so that's how you solve all the layers by using different algorithms i remember once when i was in school i actually took the rubik's cube to school by mistake and uh, when i told my friends that i know how to solve it they did not believe me they wanted to see me solve it for themselves on the outside it seemed like i was just doing some random things with the cube even though i actually knew exactly what i was doing I kept on using the algorithms and kept on solving the cube. Last layer tak pochte pochte you can clearly see your progress. You can clearly see what is happening. Okay, actually, okay, the first layer is solved, then the second layer is solved, and now the person is trying to solve the last layer. But when you come to the last algorithm, it's just like you have completely scrambled the entire cube. Up until that point, my friends were completely with me. But when they saw the whole cube getting scrambled, they started laughing. कि ये कर क्या रही है? But I kept going. Sometimes solving the last layer takes time, like a lot of time. You may have to do eight, twelve, or even sixteen iterations of the same algorithm. Sometimes you yourself start to feel like you have gone wrong, and maybe you should stop this madness and just give up. And that's when it just clicks. and this video is not about rubik's cube it's about your life i mean i don't know was it clear i wasn't really sure so i thought i'll just say it i have worked hard on building the first and the second layer of my life but i don't know for some reason everything seems like a mess right now it feels like i have no idea what i'm doing with my life i have a lot of big ideas and a lot of big plans but somehow Nothing seems to be working out. But I'll be damned if I back out now. 
I just know that everything is a mess right before it falls into place. Exactly like solving a Rubik's cube. And you should just keep going. Keep following your algorithm even if people don't understand what you're doing. Even if sometimes you yourself don't understand what you're doing. At the end of the day, I want to be the one that kept going even if nothing made sense. I want to be the one that failed miserably over and over and over again but never gave up. I want to be the one that people laughed at for having dreams that are a little too big. This is a little too scary especially for the people please the side of me that just wants to fit in. That just wants acceptance and validation from the world. But you cannot let that stop you because what I've realized is that you are not afraid of failing. You're just afraid that people will witness your failure. You're just afraid of what people will say when they see you fail. But it doesn't matter. You're the only thing that matters. What you think about yourself is literally the only thing that matters. You are your own audience of fun. You're the only VI mother F and P in the arena, and the show must go on. So here it is. To the first chapter of the rest of my life and yours.